Hi, everybody. So we've been of Alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to go a little deeper into the Xingyi uh, postures as a way of, of developing internal power. And uh, uh, we started it last week, and uh, we'll take it a, a, a little bit deeper this week. The um, Xingyi Chuan is one of the Chinese internal martial arts. And uh, it is an excellent way to improve your internal power, particularly if you approach it from, from a perspective of, uh, of cultivating your internal power as opposed to just its martial applications. So what we're going to do today is not really going to focus much at all on the martial applications, but more on on what's going on inside that makes these postures so powerful. And when we talk about power, power is just the ability to do something. That's, you know, your power to, the power to walk up the stairs, the power to drive a car, the power to, you know, play a violin, whatever it is you, it's just your ability to, to, use your ability to make something happen. And so we, as we develop in our, our internal martial arts, we are cultivating our internal power. That is that sense that we can do stuff and we can do it stuff safely and competently. And so the, uh, the more Jin internal power that we have, the more we can we can actually occupy space and time. We can actually be there, be present for the moment, be present for our lives. So everything we're doing is in this direction of of expanding our our sense of being, our awareness, our presence, and in a way that harmonizes with the world with other people and doing it in a way that we can feel safe and competent and uh, alive, you know, feel healthy and, and live a long life, that kind of thing. So uh, the key to this is something I've, I've, I've mentioned many times in the, uh, this, and I'm, you know, particularly mentioning this for, for people who maybe just tuning into the, the channel for the first time, the, the most important distinction that we make as internal martial artists is the ability to distinguish between substantial and insubstantial. And uh, that ability to distinguish between them and also the ability to integrate the two. And when I talk about substantial, I'm meaning that having more substance, something that has more, so we think of some, as having stuff. That is, there's a certain element of fixity of uh, mass and, and density to it. The more it's fixed, the more dense it is, the more substantial it becomes. The, its counterpart, its complement is insubstantiality. And that means things are less dense. They're, they're more spacious, more uh, less fixed and that they're thereby more movable. So we get this little dance here between insubstantial and substantial. Everything, every point in the universe has its own insubstantial and substantial. There's no absolute either way, but things have a varying degree depending on how we're perceiving them. We're looking at something and if we're focusing on its substantiality, that is the, the stuff of it that gives us a certain perspective on, on that thing. And the, the opposite is also true. And there's some people who all they can see is stuff. All they can see are things. And they everything is kind of reduced to its thingness. And then on the opposite side, there are people who all they can perceive are their own thoughts. And they, you know, the the stuff of the world is 
is not not even, not readily apparent to them, and most of us have varying degrees of both. And so, what we're looking for is being able to attune to the substantiality and the insubstantiality in our in our uh, martial arts postures in our kung fu. That is our ability to to recognize the physicality and also the energy, the mentality, the mind intent, the uh, uh, and the spirit that goes into it, the shen that goes into it. So when we uh, when we're doing the Xing Yi postures, you know, we're there's we create the uh, the jin, the the internal power by this combination of substantiality and insubstantiality. That is our bodies, our jinn is always a combination of, of physicality and energy. And that, that combination is directed by mind intent or directed by Shen, the spirit. And so we, uh, but there's going to be a varying degrees of substance and non-substance, stuff and non-stuff that is present in anything. So you can think of like my arm is, in my let's say my hand is there's a certain stuff to it there's there's a physicality to that but it's also there's a there's non-stuff there there's a there is the space that it occupies there's the energy that animates it there's my thoughts that that direct my the movement of my fingers all that is insubstantial by comparison to the the meat and bones that that make up my hand, and the same thing is true in every every posture. So when we do our we're doing these these standing meditations that we'll be doing, the um, we're feeling into how the body is aligning, feeling how that is creating this uh, activity within us, and but we're also feeling into how we are generating the this flow of energy that that occurs there so there's this 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 dance that's going on and the ability to to do that is heavily dependent on the amount the in, investment you make in practicing that, that is your kung fu you know diligent effort over time and so you you do that cuz there's you're constantly revising your idea of what is real as you do these things. You become more and more aware of levels of insubstantiality and the effect that they are having on your world that makes it, it causes you to reevaluate what you consider to be real. And the reality of these postures is that it's a both and kind of thing. It's yes, there's the physicality and yes, there is the mind intent. Yes, there is this animating spirit that, that goes into it. And so um, let's, uh, let's stand up and, and have some fun with this. Sure. All right. <laughs> now I'd like to reiterate that what we are working on here is the energy behind the martial application, not the martial application itself. And it's something that will make your martial application so much better if you have the energy and the mind intent, the correct way of applying your your thoughts to the motions um, that this will this will make your your postures your movements your shingi moves much more effective but those who uh, who come looking for uh, the you know, classic shingi forms we're not doing that today we are focusing on the you can think of it like standing post training or 
um, uh, the uh, um, uh, Ichuan training. Ichuan is the standing postures that are a branch of of Xing Yi. That is the in, really in, internal focus of Xing Yi. But let's start off by getting into a um, our three pillars. So. Um, actually, bring your feet together. This so just get that. So relax. Take a deep breath. Now center your weight over the balls of your feet, so the weight is spread throughout your foot. But you want to have that the balls of your feet being the bullseye there, the orienting points. So your mind, when it addresses your foot, immediately goes to the balls of your feet rather than the heels. It says, okay, we're orient orienting around that. The weight is spread throughout the foot, but we're going to orient to that point. Now, point your index finger to just feel your energetic coherence. Feel your point reach and feel into your hands. Notice that Meaning you're going to start to feel some tingling, pulsing, some activity there. This indicates that you're, you're getting a whole body energetic connection. Now reach with the crown of your head and tuck in your chin. So you're lengthening your spine as you sink down into your legs. Your body is pulling in opposite directions. Tuck in your chin and... Open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. And that's just that area where your neck meets your skull. And whenever you open that up, that is, you're reaching with the crown of your head and tucking your chin, you're, you're instead of lifting your chin, which kinks the hose there at the jade pillow gate, this opens it up and allows energy, blood, cerebral spinal fluid, to flow more freely there. And then relax your lower back and soften your hips. You're able to sink down into, into your feet, into the balls of your feet a little more. Reach out with, a, with your elbows just slightly, just enough to get a slight rounded shape there. Feel those index fingers and just pause a moment and feel the connection here that gets created by by this, I call this the three pillars of body, mind, spirit integration. That is your energetic coherence, central equilibrium, and unkinking the hose. That is freeing up the energy so that it can move from, uh, uh, un unrestricted through your body. Step out your left foot. And just feel your reach with your wrist. Go to the balls of your feet. Reach with your wrists. Let your fingers hang. And just bring your, your wrists up to about waist height. And then reach with the fingers. And as you do that, pull back away from your fingers, away from your hands, and open up your back between your shoulder blades. So you're lengthening out, you're reaching out your arms. Notice that my arms are reaching out, you know, they're about 90% extended. They're not locked, but they're not, they're not bent. They're, they're just almost, almost straight, but they're relaxed. You're reaching out with the fingers, and feeling that connection through your fingers, through your arms, shoulders, down your back, down your legs, through your feet and into the earth. And then sink into your heels and pull back with your hands and forward with your body. And then sink down, press down. Good. 
now we're going to do something we we started a couple of weeks ago, and uh, just to review, it's the fundamental posture in, in Xing Yi Chuan, and this is very powerful because it, it connects up, connects you up to heaven and earth. And so to do this, sink into your left heel and spiral down, pivot on your right heel, turn it out about 45 degrees, and then sink into your, your right heel, set your right knee and spiral down to the right. You're loading up that right leg and then you're going to step forward with your left foot. So what's going to happen is you're, you want your, your left foot to line up with your right heel. So if you pull your heel back, you're going to bang into that. You're, you're sinking into your, your, your legs as if you're you're settling down, <clears throat> sitting down, and your torso is turned on a 45 degree angle. So your torso is heading out that way and you're looking that way. So it's about 45 degrees there. So then you pick up your left hand, reach out about face height. And again, your, your, your arm is about 90%. 90%. Straight ahead. Okay, so we're so notice that I'm uh, my heels are lined up, stepping out. My weight is about 70 80 percent. My back leg, in this case, my right leg, reaching out with my left hand, and it's straight out from my from my shoulder. I'm my torso is facing that way, but my eyes and my nose are, are looking through the through the uh, this notch between my thumb and forefinger. The right hand, right arm curves around so that my thumb is pointing at my navel. I'm, my arm is rounded. So it's like I'm reaching around somewhere like giving someone a, a hug, you know, you're, you're pulling around there and you're reaching out with your elbow. Notice that my arm is not leaning back. It's straight out from my shoulder, right alongside my, same thing with this arm. It's, it's reaching straight out. And so we, this is, this is a t-shirt and it, you know, it's three pillar standing posture. And uh, what it is, it, uh, it integrates the heaven, earth, and your humanity together as a package. And so just by sinking into this and reaching out, you're lengthening your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments, your fascia, you're, you're creating tensegrity throughout the whole system. You want to link up your hands and your feet, your fingers and your toes. Head. What's that? Your head. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to people, so uh, I'll, I'll do it this way. So now they've seen, seen me, so I can, I can do this. So you're linking up your, your ankles and your wrists, your knees and your elbows, your hips and your shoulder blades, your scapula. And this is a foundational exercise. How about I would do it here? It's a foundational exercise for Xing Yi. People, you know, are, are, when you're first learning Xing Yi, you're told to stand in this posture for, you know, hours at a time, for months or longer to develop the internal power necessary to, to execute the movements. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to play a little visit here just to get the feeling of what that, what that, what that is like. So let's bring that in. And we're going to go now and bring your right foot forward. And bring your right hand up, reaching out. Your left hand curved around and 
pointing at your navel. And ideally you wanna kind of create some space there. You wanna sink down and open up the crotch area as you do this. And it doesn't have to be big. You don't have to go way down. You can just, the idea is you're, you're separating the legs and opening up the hui yin. You're creating this, this connection there between your legs and, with, and, and where they meet the torso. You relax your arms. Now, in addition to keeping those body parts connected up, you also want to have this sense of it's not a static posture. That is, your body is going like this. Your torso, your abdomen, your dantian is moving even though it's not moving. So in other words, you're, you're, when you're doing this, this is you're reaching out with that right hand, pulling back with the left hand. Your, your body is as this, this turbine that is turning and directing out, even though you're not moving, your joints, your wrists are going like this, even though they're not moving, your elbows are circling your shoulders, everything is, is turning, but it's not. It's your intent is that, is feeling into that motion that this is where your insubstantiality is creating an internal power, an internal flow of chi. So that creating those, all those little wheels going on inside is dramatically increasing your internal energy and your internal power. So I, I stood like this without the, that internal idea for a long time. And like, the, you know, what's the big deal? I could got more endurance from doing it, but I wasn't getting there. But there's a sense that you, you have this, this, this motion there, then creates a whole new, uh, a whole new thing that's happening uh, below the surface, something that, that no one can readily see, but they can see something's going on. The other thing too is your, your poles in opposition, your feet are fighting. You're, you're, there's a conflict that's occurring between the feet. They are, sim they are simultaneously conflicted and cooperative. So they're pulling apart but, and pushing together, but they're also organized into a simultaneously into a wholeness. Good, and then step in. And just stand in a neutral posture there for the moment. And just get the feeling of that. And just allow the energy to settle out. Like clearing your palate. Allowing that energy to subside. So what that, that does, the Santi shoe, it provides this foundation. So even though it is from the outside, it looks still, inside there's a lot of motion going on. And it's happening at that insubstantial level. But if you feel into your hands right now, you'll notice that, that all that insubstantiality is having a big effect on your energy and on your, the, your blood flow. You'll feel the pulsing and tingling in your hands. So now we're going to go to the, uh, the elements. And the first one is, is Petran. And uh, that's the metal energy. And it looks a, an awful lot like Santishu. Okay. 
Jeffrey, it's doing something different. Okay. First of all, the, the left hand, usually we, we do it a little lower. The Santee is up a little higher. So the P-Tran is down here. And the this is, um, P-Tran refers to splitting chi, splitting energy. So you're, what's being split here? You can think of the, the, the young hand is splitting like splitting a log. But there's another aspect to this too, which is you're splitting where your hands are splitting. That is when you're, there's a, the right hand is in this case is pulling down as if it's, it's, it's trapping in a, in a martial application, you're trapping it, you know, trapping a, an arm there, pulling down, and this hand is striking out. So this hand is reaching out and down. This one is pulling back and down. So we get we're, we're get there. So this this action here is we have a vector on these energies. We're not just holding a posture and stiffly holding a posture. No, no, we're 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 imagining we're pulling down with that right hand and reaching out and down with the with the left hand to 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 cut through to 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 split through. So this is that metal is like an axe breaking a uh, breaking through a, a log, and the right hand is is pulling down to to uh, draw that energy down into the earth. Again, you want to reach out with that left arm so that it's it's about ninety percent straight. So feel just feeling that you're just by doing that you're lengthening your tendons, ligaments, your muscles, your fascia, and your arms. You're creating this energy flow there by doing that. You're creating tensegrity in the system. Same thing. You're opening the shoulder so the your your shoulder is you're not just hanging out here like this right so like you're you're reaching out and creating space there in the shoulder your right hand is pulling down your shoulder is open here and the they're being fed by your scapular and they're being fed by your spine and they're being fed by your by your sacrum by your yao so all that is, so the yao feeds the spine, feeds the, the scapular, feeds the shoulders, feeds the elbows, feeds the wrists, feeds the palms, feeds the fingers. So you get the idea here. So by standing in these postures, we get an opportunity to notice these things, which would ordinarily kind of miss, we just uh, kind of gloss over them. But feeling these connections, and the same idea here, you're feeling this, this torso moving, wrists moving, arms, shoulders moving, everything doing that, but not moving. So we get our P-Tran. Notice that the right arm, we're reaching out with that elbow, opening up the, the right shoulder. The wrist is, is bent the the fingers are are open and they're reaching the thumb is pointing toward the navel you feel that connection between the hands as you're pulling them you're tuning up like a violin string you're getting the exact right of tensegrity between them to create beautiful music with this okay and step in And we're going to go the other side and step out. You're reaching out with that right hand, pulling down and back with the left hand. You're creating this separation there. These poles in opposition. The feet are poles in opposition. Everything is poles in opposition. Your elbows and your knees, your wrists and your ankles. 
your left side and your right side. Everything is, is fighting. And at the same time, it's cooperating. Everything is unified into a, 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 an integrated whole. But within that wholeness, there is a yin and yang. There's a, there is this elemental struggle that occurs between the expansion and, and the contraction. The shoulders are relaxed, even though you're opening them. You're reaching with your elbows, reaching with your wrists, reaching with your fingers. This hand feeling the heaviness of the metal in your, in your right hand, it's chopping down. Your left hand is pulling back and, and crushing down with that, with that left hand. So when you do this, feel the amplification of the metal chi that's occurring in your body. Metal is associated with the fall and with the lungs. It's a, you're going from the yang of summer to the yin of winter in, uh, in, in fall. So same thing is happening here. You're going from the expansion, but there is this moving, expansion moving toward contraction. And step in. And pause. Empty out. Just feel into your body. Take note of what that the, the, the simple standing postures have done there. Yeah. Now we're going to go on to the next one, which is Bong Chuan, which is an expression of wood energy. And you could think of it as smashing, like you're like a, a um, battering ram knocking down the, the castle gates. There's this Bong Chuan. Or you can think of it also as an arrow piercing. So there's a, you can think of it as, as a piercing energy as well. It's driving through. So the, what this looks like, we're gonna step out with the left foot, sink into your posture. Same idea with the, uh, with the, navel on the 45. And here, we're going to reach out with the right fist. So we're extending that right fist, but the left hand is pulling back. We get this, this extension with the right fist. The body turns and extends that out Notice that the right arm is nine, about 90% out. You're reaching up. You're driving up with the crown of your head, extending upward. Same time, you're extending downward in through your feet. Your left hand is pulling back as your right hand is pulling out. The other thing is you're, when you're going out, and we were doing the form, we're not getting into that right now, but you can imagine it coming with your, your, your arm brushing against your, your right arm brushing against your liver as you're reaching out and extending out straight ahead. Okay, boom, like this. So your, your body turns as you go out like that. Your left hand pulls back as you do that. So notice that my fist is right down right there, right there, right on that center line of my body and it's as it's turned. So I'm reaching out like that and feel this because it's the very 
powerful linear directed energy. And it, uh, same idea here, it looks static, but we're, the body's moving, the hands are moving, the wrists are moving, the elbows, the shoulders are all moving, but they're not. We're extending out and same thing with the left hand coming back. So there's this, this turning, churning going on your feet, your ankles, your knees, everything has these, these motions. They're all very responsive. Nothing is static, even though they are not moving. Now, try reaching down, turning your fist so you're reaching down, so you're, as if you're going to strike with your, your, the knuckles on your index and middle fingers. And then uh, just feel, to, to feel the difference between that and just having that flat like that. So you're reaching down, feel the, it's, the energy is coming over the, the top of the arm, it's being generated over the, over the top of the arm here and expressing down through the middle and and index fingers. Now go the other way and strike with the, the bottom two knuckles, your little finger and your ring finger, and bend your wrist the other way. So you're striking with those two knuckles and feel this time the energy is coming on the underside of the arm. Feel that. Now go back the center and feel that with the flat. This is your bong chuan. It's, it's a, a sense of piercing through, smashing through something. And step in. Step out with your right foot. Going to pull back with your right hand and reach forward with your left. Left hand coming right against the rib cage, reaching out. Feel that pulling back with the right arm. Notice that the left arm is about 90% extended. Reaching with the crown, feeling those feet fighting. Feeling all the motion that's occurring in the body. You're connecting up to your dantian, to your, to your lower abdomen. So you're using your core to make the connection between your feet and your hands. Good. And now reach down as if you're pouring a pitcher striking with the, the top two knuckles, pulling back with that right hand. Feel that extension, feel that piercing energy. You're, you're striking through, you're breaking through a, uh, uh, you're just punching through a wall. Smashing, piercing, and now uh, try with the, the bottom two knuckles. Feel the energy on the underside of your arm. Feel reaching with the crown of your head, opening the base of your skull there, the jade, the jade pillow gate. And step in. Pause and just feel into the neutral posture.
Empty out the bung trend. Set, feel your, settle into your heels and allow the energy to just go down through your feet into the earth. Clearing your system so you're ready for the next energy. And so now we're going to go to water, which is Zuan Chen. And this is drilling. So the idea here is that the energy is circulating up through your arm, coming up through your, from your feet, through your legs, your spine, your, your uh, back, shoulder blades, shoulders, elbows, etc. Moving through that. Same thing here. We're pulling down with the left hand as we come up with the right. Actually, we're going to go with the opposite. We're going to go with the left here. So let's we're going to try this. So we're going to step out with the left foot. And the left hand is going to come. The right hand pulls down as the left hand circles up, comes up the center line, and so you're pulling down with the right hand and actually the right fist, the left fist is reaching up and through. It's the energy is spiraling up through there. So we're you can imagine your torso is is spiraling up to get that. So feeling your feet handling the that spiral accordingly. It's directing it up through your body. So this is drilling chi water. The fist is is whereas the bung tran we have like that. This one is you're reaching with that knuckle and the the knuckles are kind of spiraled as well. This allows the energy to be expressed through through the hand uh, in that way. So we're spiraling, reaching with that, reaching with that left hand, with that left fist, drilling upward, pulling down with your right fist. Reach with your elbows, open the shoulders, feel that conflict happening between your feet, between your hands. Everything is both united and conflicted, creating motion, internal motion and external stillness. Step in. Step out with the with the right foot. Right hand comes up the center line, reaches up. The left hand pulls down. So your left fist is reaching down. Your right fist is reaching up, drilling upward. Feel yourself reaching out with your elbows, so open your back even more. But you want to line up your hips and your scapular so that they're they're both moving together to create this effect. Okay, step in. Pause a moment, empty out the Zhuan Chen, the Zhuan, the, the water chi.
Okay, next is fire. And in this one, the step out with your left foot and your body is going to turn like, so you're, you're going like this, boom, you're reaching out with your right arm and pulling back. So the idea of this one, same, similar kind of thing, you're, you're pulling back, deflecting your, at the same time, you're contacting and reaching out. So this is, the vector of this is pulling out that way. So your torso, your dantian is, is, is pulling across your body this way. Boom, like that. Your right, and then your right hand drives forward. Your, this, this turn of the dantian drives you forward. So you're, you're like this. And so if you're going to be using this to, uh, for martial applications, you're going to take more of a compact stance like this, but we're going to open it up, open up the shoulder joint, open up the elbow with everything is just reaching out. It's much bigger in this one because we're really focusing on the energy. And just as a note, the, any one of these postures can be done as a standing meditation to create uh, more internal power. That is, you can hold the posture for five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, whatever you like, just to feel into it and develop the internal connections to make it. So this, this is Pao Chuan and it's explosive power. So this is, your, this is exploding in all directions and it's your fist is being driven forward like a, it's being shot out of a cannon. The left hand is, is exploding outward and deflecting. So we have this exploding energy here. Opening your back, opening your, reaching with your elbows, your wrists. Feel that, that Dantian is not just going this way, but it's also turning. So you're getting this, this energy that's moving laterally as well as, as, as forward. And step in. We're speeding up a little bit now because we're got, got one more to do here. And so we're going to do a power train. We're going to step out with the right foot and your right hand opens, left hand drives forward. In this one, you have more of a 50-50 stance on this one. You can do it any which way. You can do it um, forward, back. But I like, uh, on Powtrain, I like a, more of a 50-50 stance. Whereas all the other ones are back-weighted. They're like 70, 80% in the back leg. This one is about, I like to do it about 50, 50. Feel that, that energy moving in, out in all directions. This is the most young of the, of the, uh, of these postures. And it's, uh, Pao Chuan is, correlates to fire and summertime. And it's the most young part of the year and fire is the most young element. And so we're at the peak of yang, we're the peak of expansion. So the yin is really just our connection with the earth on this one. And everything else is kind of move into the yang column and then step in. We'll clear that energy. Feel the heat that gets generated from that fire chi. 
Okay, next one is Earth. And this is Hung, Hung Chuan. And this is the usually the, the trickiest one to, to get a hold of because it kind of doesn't make sense as a uh, uh, a martial application until it does. And this one is crossing energy. And this of corresponds to earth, it's a uh, And the idea here is that we're going to be crossing. So the uh, way it does make sense is that when I'm doing it, I'm going like this and the energy is going like that. It's separating out, pulling across. And if you notice that there, you know, I'm de delivering my energy this way, but I have, unlike say Bong Chuan, where I'm, everything is kind of lined up along my skeleton. So it's going right down into my feet, through my, through the main parts of my, uh, of my skeleton. In Hung, it's going the opposite. It's going across my body. So the vector that I'm using can't be strictly muscular. It doesn't work because there's no support there. So this one is the, 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 the most difficult one to grasp because it's the least substantial. It's the most insubstantial one. And that's because you're, what's happening is you're, you're, you're rotating your wrist like that. And the energy is spiraling down through into your right leg. So even your, your right hand is going across that way, which if it were, if it were moving directly, it would be, that would be the vector. Instead, it's going through here and then down through my right leg. So it, and to do that, I have to use my dantian, I have to use my core muscles, and, but also the energy has to come in and circle down through. So we get this, we get this crossing. So what, um, to uh, set this up, bring your, um, um, your right, uh, right fist up, palm up. Your left fist, palm down. I'm sorry, do, do it the other way. Right fist, palm down. Left fist, palm up. Okay, so now <coughs> going to Rotate your right, you're going to rotate both forearms as you do that and reach out with your right hand and pull with your left. Just feel that. So before we actually do, back this up a step, just take your right hand, palm down, and then rotate, palm up. Just feel into that. So there is a, a particular energy, particular gin that we create by having this energy directed this way, because there's a spiral going through by because you're rotating your forearm, but it's also a uh, it's directional, so it's spiraling this way. The vector is going that way, but we are the we're getting angular momentum here. This en energy is moving that way, vectors that way, but the other vector is moving that way. So we're going boom like that. So same thing with the left hand. So we're <coughs> the uh, left hand is is pulling down, reaching back with the elbow, pulling down as you're turning and the elbow is pulling across this way. So we're separating out, boom, and we are crossing it across the body. And uh, we don't have time to get into martial applications with this, but, and then you can go the other direction, the right fist, palm up, left fist, palm down, and then we go this way. And this is a, a kind of a fun thing to do, to just get this 
get these two energies going. So we're crossing. Boom. You're rotating and crossing at the same time. It's a little tricky, but uh, yeah, that gives you an idea of the, the vectors involved. So to do this one, we're going to step out with the left foot and sink into your right leg and start with your left hand palm up, right hand palm down and rotate and pull apart. So you have that spiraling energy which is persisting in your forearms, but it's also pulling it across your body we get our crossing chin here. There's a twist in your body. So you're, there's a, a turn there. So the, the spiral goes um, all the way through your body. So you can feel the energy. You can actually grab your, your wrist pulling into that and feel it going down through your right foot. You're pulling on your right arm, but you're feeling the energy going down into your right foot as you do that. So this is Hung Chuan, Earth Chi. It's rounded, circular. And step in. Step out with your right foot. And then your um, right hand, palm up, left hand, palm down, and then turn, pull down with your right hand, cross your body, spiral your left arm out, and you're going across your body here. Reach with the elbows opening your shoulder blades, all that other stuff I've been talking about with all the other postures. So none of these things are gotten in one class or doing it for five minutes. They require some work. They will make you stronger. No matter what age you are, you're going to benefit by getting more internal power. Open up the shoulder blades, reach with the elbows, step in. And uh, empty out. Due to time constraints, let's just go right to the closing here. Deep breath, go into your balls of your feet, gather the energy, and then sink into your heels and exhale, empty out. Great. Please have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to rush you at the end there, but uh, we could have gone on for a while. Um, tried to cram everything into one one session there. Um, how'd that go? Good, good. Any thoughts, comments, questions, anything you want to share? Valerie. Well, it's a little too um, hot here to be feeling this much heat <laughs> in my body. Um, it's kind of amazing uh, the different ways that we, our bodies perceive and feel the different types of energy. 
you know, the substantial, the insubstantial. Um, I, 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 I don't know how to describe it. It's like my skin is the substantial part of me and then <clears throat> everything inside the skin is gone. Hmm. And it's not that that's um, cotton wrapped in steel feeling. It's very different than that. Uh, hmm. It's uh, like I said, it's hard to describe. Mm -hmm. So like the, the, the you have to practice it. Like the substantial part of a balloon yes. is is the <laughs> is the latex that that surrounds the air, right? <laughs> so your skin is is the is the latex, and uh, and you're full of of insubstantiality. I thought you were going to say I was full of hot air. <laughs> Or, or an airhead. <laughs> but it was it uh, like I I I've had that balloon effect, um, you know, with like the the cotton wrapped in steel, and so it's close to that description. But the skin is very soft. Not that the you know I mean when I get that steel feeling, it's not like hard. But this is a different, it's, it's just different. And like I said, when I started, it's just amazing how the energy, the gin can feel so different from one practice to another. Great. Terrific. Thank you. Cool. Scott. Uh, it's interesting. I, I just realized this tonight when I was focusing on the, you know, we're focusing on the, the, circular, you know, the rotation and all the circular movements, I realized when I stopped doing it, it's like when you take your roller skates off <laughs> and everything's still, <laughs> it feels like everything's still moving. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it, it doesn't want to go away. No, there's, there's a lot of things still going. <laughs> we, we emptied it out, but it still said, no, I'm going to hang out. I like it here. I'm going to hang <laughs> out for a while. <laughs> cool. JB, you got something? Well, I'm just, you know, this spiraling, you know, I've talked with you a lot about it with Bago and others, just strikes me as profoundly health, healthy. And not just holding the position, but feeling internally the currents going through, I, 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 it just strikes me as one of the healthiest things you can do for your body. Because, you know, the regular Tai Chi form doesn't, we don't really emphasize spirals. That, I mean, right? We're kind of, our, we're with our torso. We're not twisting like that. So I don't know. It, it strikes me as a profoundly uh, just, just healthy thing to do. It's a nice compliment to the Tai Chi trend. That's why you have Bagua, Xing Yi, you know, Taiji, the, all three are highly recommended to practice at some level, even if you don't go, you know, all in on any of them. You know, you, uh, you know, it's, it's highly recommended that you at least explore the energies there because the, the mysteries just keep opening up before us right i mean but it's one thing you know perfect the form the bagua form but i mean with the shin yi it's like if we i really i mean you cram so much in so i'm hoping next time <laughs> you'll do long enough on one that i can really feel that current and you know in a, in a spiral way and then play with that one form a little bit a little bit less a little bit more uh but it's nice to be introduced to the whole range for sure but I would love to go back and slowly get the most out of the feeling of that twisting, spiraling energy. Like really, and I'm feel. hoping that everybody watching this video feels the same way, and you just put it on and go through the, you know, the postures and 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 I, get and do it again on your own. Just get it so that that just becomes something you do. You know, you're just oh, I got five minutes. I think I'm going to stand in a bung tran posture for five minutes. 
That's right. I mean, actually, the video is more valuable than the live here because you can stop it and, and say, okay, whoa, whoa, okay. So, that's let me right. replay these perfect. things. That's right. So there's every one of those postures can be explored. And, you know, it, uh, uh, yeah, I threw it all together in one concise package here, perhaps <laughs> a little too hurried, but, uh, no, no, but the, uh, uh, it's there as a resource for everybody to to go and explore at their at their at their leisure, or so they can uh, you know have have some fun with it. Excellent. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. you know, particularly those of us of a certain age, the idea that I can be more powerful ten years from now than I was ten years ago is kind of cool. At the, the fact that, that I can be more that, that's an exciting idea. The fact that I can be more pliable, especially, right? Sure. It's, the power comes with the pliability and that goes away with the you know they're, narrowing. They're compliments. They're compliments. Yeah. You know, power as opposed to strength. You can build right. up lots of strength, but unless right. you have some flexibility in the system, you really don't have effective power. Because then it's just strong, but it's, there's there's a rigidity to the structure. True power, authentic power, comes with the ability to explore the yin as well as the yang. Right. Cool. Yeah, Scott. Just real quick. Yeah, I'm just now that I'm, I'm thinking about it and feeling feeling into my body, just that 40 minutes, yeah, I feel probably, I feel more like I did when I was 30. It's great. I, you know, I'm just sitting in a chair now i just feel the chi mm -hmm. it's like you know, mm -hmm. oh man that's i didn't have this 30 years ago you know even when i was you know doing a lot more kung fu than i am now but uh, by doing these things the way we're doing them now getting more uh insubstantial you know it, it my substantiality is responding to that mm. so it's creating more of a uh, an aliveness as, as you know as as the more i do valerie real quick you know taiji chuan as far as an internal art an internal martial art you know if you think about any other competition you know as people age they you know you, you get put into the senior category right so you're off here and you're not competing with the 30 year olds and the 20 year olds. Taiji is not like that. Right. The old guys are the one who are kicking butt because yeah. they have learned to develop that power. They're not right. relying on their strength. Point. Good point. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Cool. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you all so much. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Love Thank you, Maria. You, Maria. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, guys.